Okay, so boom. White boy Josh. MMA fight. Now, one thing for sure, two things for certain. When you come through the threshold in the park, in the penitentiary, and you fresh, and you new, don't nobody recognize who you are, you being preyed upon. I don't care. Listen, and I hate to say, especially the white boys. When you listen, they pay attention to how you carry yourself. They pay attention to what you got. And then listen, listen, pity rules in effect. They know when you go into your cell, if your cell ain't in there and he see you go to his cell and he out on the rock, he gonna go in the cell, of course, he gonna introduce himself. Okay. Bless his cell. Oh, what's up with you, my boy? I'm your cell. You know what I'm saying? Where you from? All this, this, and that. And depending on how you look. Because sometimes, you know, penitentiary rules in effect, you already know, you know what I'm saying? You got that pension try, you got that, pet, that, that predatory look on you. So they probably go ahead to ask, hey, you, hey, what you locked up for at home? You know what I'm saying? They gonna go ahead and do that. If your silly ain't out in the park and he in there, it's gonna be the same rundown. They gonna go through the introduction and this, this, and that. And your silly gonna leave out of the cell because out of respect, they gonna let you get situated and unpack your stuff. People in the penitentiary gonna pay attention to you got five, ten minutes, especially if you come in with nothing. You come in with just your bedroll and your penitentiary clothes, and you know what I'm saying? Listen, and that and little indigent package you get when you first come in, it don't take you ten minutes to make your bed, set that stuff on your dresser, and get in compliance, and that get what they wait on. They waiting on you to come out into the park and see how you move. If you unpack your stuff, and chill in your cell. And please, what, listen, please don't jump up in the bunk. At least be sitting down on the stool like when they, because they come, they come, they, pop, pop, pop. hey, homie, hey, bless you, say, hey, hey, what's up, hey, where you from? They going to do all that right there. Your best bet and your best move is to unpack your stuff, come on down, and just chill in front of the door and observe what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Listen, put your dog on too. Put your dog on. Don't look, don't look like you aggressive, but at the same time, just look like you ain't going. So you got to come out and just, oh, what's up, what's up? But you know what I'm saying? By that time, couple of the affiliates, they gonna pull up on you right off the bat. They're gonna pull up on you right off the bat. So, so white boy Josh, you know what I'm saying? When you order your package, when you order your package at the penitentiary you at in classification, if it comes. And you already gone, they gonna transfer it and ship it to where you are. A lot of times you're gonna have to get your people on the phone, get them to try to speed up the process, you know what I'm saying? Cause it'll sit around. But if you order nine times a ten, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll get on it, boom, and it'll follow you. Probably it'll probably come on the next train, they call you up there, let you get your package. White boy Josh, the MMA fighter, don't nobody know that though, right? Don't nobody know that. I'm gonna tell you how I know it. It's just say. He come in the park, of course. When you come in, you got you got the car. You you can tell right off the bat what's it because you can't take the cart in your cell. So by the time you pushing the cart, you might come in. They gonna have it's gonna be two people. If two people come in the park, both of their stuff is in their cart. So by the time y'all get to the closest cell, boom, you gonna pull your stuff out. The other dude gonna pull his stuff out. So by the time you pull your stuff out, penitentiary eyes is already looking. They seeing ah oh, he on the grab he on the grab two bags, your clothes and your bedroll. You ain't got nothing. So the only move they're going to try to make is to come over there and see if they can go ahead and tell you, you got to pay rent up in here. It depends on who said you in, too. You in the, If you are somebody that's a PR, you know what I'm saying, which people say it's different between neutral and PR, it, it is to an extent. Because when you, when, you, when, you when you looked at as neutral, you kind of, people, people cool with you, you know what I'm saying, you ain't got to worry about too much, and they know you a go. PR, now you might get extorted here and there, you know what I'm saying? You probably took a couple of L's. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even you ain't even on the list to get recruited no more to pay attention. Because sometimes you could be there for about a year, even though ain't nobody got you. But when you get that, they don't, they don't even try to recruit you no more. When you neutral, you could be a year and a half in, and they'll still be like, man, what's up, man? When you gonna come home, man? When you gonna come? Because they already know you're gonna stay in your ground. PR, you, you ain't gonna get that. You ain't gonna get that. Yeah, no, 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 no. You ain't even gonna get that. You ain't gonna get that. So, Soon as he come in, of course, he ain't got nothing. So they're going to do the typical, go over, check, see what's up. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. Try to make a pay. You know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't, man, listen, I ain't got nothing to give you. Look, my people ain't got nothing to this, this, and that. All this is, they're going to go through that. Aaron Nation. Now, for some reason, it's always some Crips. It's, it's, it's always Crips. It's always some Crips. When the Aaron Nation go over, everybody pay attention to how long the Aaron Nation is in the city. 
Because the Air Nation most definitely going to ask you what you locked up for. Nine times, they going to make you feel like you got to show your paperwork like you in the, like you in the Fed. Or they going to let you know they going to get the paperwork checked. And if you got one of them charged, the Air Nation let you know right off the bat, oh, you going to pay to stay. Because if not, if you got one of them charged, are oh, you going to the back immediately. And they going to put them hands on you. Off the top. So everybody waiting around to see how long the Air Nation going to stay in there. And everybody uh, 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 calculate, depending on how long they stay in there, is he being screened? Have they already convinced him that, hey, look, it's just us in here. Gang war pop off. This pop off. Look, these dudes don't want to do nothing. But try to extort you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're white. They feel like they can pick on you. If you come over here, at least you got somebody that's going to back you. This, this, net. They're going to they gonna run down. They're going to run it down to them to make them feel like, look, we can protect you. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to protect each other. All this net. So everybody. And they should come up out of there. They ain't even in there long. So nine times ten, he done stood his ground and said, man, I'm just in here trying to do my time. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get home or whatever, 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 whatever. Now. The next thing people waiting on when they come in is, do he get high? And what does he get high on? Because he done stood his ground. Now, the next thing is, he white, so he going to want to cope a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He just came from another penitentiary, so he don't have a guy he could go and get that from. And nine times out of ten, the junkies are going to be the ones who going to know before the person who can supply because the junk is going to weed him out. They're going to come, the dude who smokes cigarettes, they're going to pull up on him. Man, what you got going on, man? Where you from, man? You know, man, I got it, man. You know, I know you just got here or whatever, man. You love smoke cigarette, man. I smoke cigarette with you. Oh, yeah, 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 I smoke cigarette. Next thing you know, as they smoking the cigarette, he going to pop it on him and try to see what it, what else he like. And now, he the go-to guy for the time being until he find out penitentiary rules in the effect and they playing the reindeer and cocaine game. And by the time he, they go and get what it is that he want, it ain't never the amount that it was when he when he got it. So <laughs> you are gonna get him to the game real quick, real quick. Guess who? Guess who be so? Guess 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 who was the one who got him? <laughs> white boy Rick. White white boy Rick done pulled up on skirt, wrapped up, wrapped with him a couple times, smoked a couple cigarettes with him. Done got him on that. Done, done got him on that orange. You don't know what that orange is. Let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. You ain't never been to the penitentiary. Listen, my advice, you never go. <laughs> To the penitentiary. White boy Josh was cool too. White boy Josh was cool, laid back. I'm gonna tell you now. So, <laughs> uh, white boy Rick bring him to the cell, right? Pop, pop, pop. Hey, Joe, tell me, holla at you real quick, man. Man, come on in, come on in. Pop. Man, bless you, say, man. Hey, man, I got my homeboy outside real quick, man. I want to holla at you real quick before I brought him in here, man. He good people, man. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Josh, come on, man. Told you, man. Cool, man. Come on in, white boy, Josh. Man, bless his cell, man. He'll look. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He cool. So, man, what's up, man? I'm man, Joe T. I oh, what's up, man? He's like, man, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. White boy Rick was sent me, man. You good people, man. He's like, man, yeah, man. Uh, I really appreciate it. He done already. I, what, appreciate what? C -c -c appreciate what? What, 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 white boy Rick done told you? He said, man, I really, I really appreciate it, man. You know, my people. Your people what? Go on, finish your sentence. Go on, finish. You know, my people, you know what I'm saying, they they do what they can, you know what I'm saying. I just try not to call them on the blue box all the time, man, and, and you know, hit white boy really like, yeah, 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 well, I was just telling Joe T, man, you know, he was like, man, good. <laughs> I, you done told this man I had that tour up here. I was like, yeah, 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 I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying, here you go, you know what I'm saying, Pow! Pull that thing out, you know what I'm saying? Let him get on there. He was like, man, that's crazy, man. He was like, man, they really, he was like, man, how much do you think go for? 1500 Fifteen hundred, they probably <laughs> listen. They, they wasn't about seven or eight. I gotta say fifteen hundred before white boy Rick even say fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Well, what's up? What you trying to do, man? I'm gonna see if I can holler my people, man. You know it's almost tax time. Tax time. Oh, he ain't one of them. He he ain't one of them. He he ain't one of them white boys that come with the inheritance in her. You know what I'm saying? Wait for tax time. You sound just like you sound like the rest of everybody in here. You know what I'm saying? So he get on the phone and for some reason. I get he felt like he had to, you know, he, he done put the thing on speaker off the top, like, like I'm supposed to be able to hear, you know what I'm saying? I, he get on speaker, I was like, ah, oh, bro, you ain't got to, he was like, man, you sure, man? I will just, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no funny business or nothing, man, I'm just trying, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, 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 you cool. So he get on there, oh, he get a yard. He get a yard stick. Now, now, hold on, let me, let me, hold on, let me rethink this now. You get on the phone, now, I understand when you fresh in a penitentiary, your people fool with you. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When you fresh in, you know what I'm saying? You might get your yard or two right off the bat. You got to give about six months. Them yards going to turn into 25. You know what I'm saying? 20. Sometimes, you know, 20, 25. You know what I'm saying? You might get your little 30 piece. You, you might get a 50 piece in 90 days. You know what I'm saying? That that going to slow down unless you got, you know what I'm saying? Two, three people. You know what I'm saying? This is like, this guy you 20. This person gave you 20. This, this, person, this person gave you, you know what I'm saying? 55 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just depends. It just depends. So he use the phone or whatever, boom, 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 boom. He get out the phone, he, Pow. man, I appreciate that, man, I appreciate that, Joe T. I said, ain't no problem, man. I said, what you say your name was again? He's like, man, John, I was like, man, you seem like you cool as hell. I was like, man, you ain't no, man, you only look like you belong in the penitentiary, man. Like, cause you always got them people that come to pen. you know, they got that innocent look, they carry that, like they cool. He was like, man, man, you know, my family, man, you know, my family, you know, they, they, they good people, you know, and you know, my great, great. Granddad, you know, I was like, all right, it's, it's one of them. My great great granddad, man, he ended up buying some land, and, and and you know, the people he got the land from, man, you know, they basically try to say he finessed, he finessed, whatever, whatever happened, they try to steal some bad business on my people, man, and you know, later on down the years, like my family, you know, my family, you know, what I'm saying the Bushwicks against, you know, what I'm saying the the the, the Hardaways, you know, back then, and and. and the the hard ways were more more into law enforcement, you know what I'm saying, in my generation, you know, and the judge, the judge is hard way. And you know, and I just feel like, you know, that that had a lot to do with it. But to be honest with you, man, he was like, man, you know, I was I was I was wasted one night, man. I I was toasted. We was at the bar, right? We was at the bar, and then we was in there at the bar, you know, we was in there drinking. We was in there drinking, man. I didn't kick so many of them back, man. And chased it with Dos Seco. And I was like, what's it? It's one of the Mexican beers, man. Come in though, the, the green bottle. Come in the green bottle with the. Anyway, so I, I chased it down with Dos Seco, man. And and, 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 and man, we get into it with some guys. We get into it with some guys, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, just a little neighborhood thing. Just a little neighborhood thing growing up. You know what I'm saying? Some pretty girls in there, man. And they're they're kicking back, you know what I'm saying? With their boots and stuff in there. And they're doing all that stuff. And you know, the girls come over, hang with my guys. You know, we're bush. I'm a bushwick, so everybody know what what's up with bushwick. So every, she's over there chilling with the bushwicks, man. And the guys come over. They come over and bump, bump one of my homeboys. When you bump one of my homeboys, you know it kind of. But they break it up. Don't nothing, don't nothing break out, man. We go out to the car, man. I got that. Listen, man, I got that rocket in there, man. I got that rocket. So we sit in there. We in the car, you know. I'm. I'm white smoking. I'm white smoking. You know, I got that fat tire on the back of him, right? I got that. Yeah, I got that big boy. So I'm sitting here smoking him, smoking him. I'm just smoking. What's your name? Joe T. I'm smoking him, Joe T. I'm just smoking him, right? And after I should, I fish tail. I fish tail him and I catch him, right? I catch him, you know what I'm saying? And the girl kind of, she hangs out the window a little bit. I snatch her back in and we're driving. You know what I'm saying? I just driving down the road, man. It was this car. And I seen it, it was like my brain, my brain, man. Man, I hate to even talk about this, man. It's like my brain didn't catch up with my thoughts at the time, man. And, you know, by the time my brain registered, it was like, man, that light is red, man. And that person not, you know, I was like, man. So I tried to turn. And when I turned, man, hit the car, window was down, man. Girl flies out the window. She flies out the window, man, and uh, uh, she breaks her neck, but she lived. But the person we hit, the person we hit, um, passed away, man. Didn't make it, man. They hit me with vehicular homicide, man. I woke up the next morning in the hospital bed, man, uh, cuffed, cuffed up to the bed. And there was a police officer right there, man. As soon as I woke up, you know, he let me know what was going on, what I was being charged with. And then they called the detectives in there, man, and. The girl had a little weed in her pocket, had a little weed in the car, man. But yeah, man, I ended up with vehicular homicide, man. And uh, they gave they gave me seven years they gave me seven years sentence, but still, you know, the, even in the seven years sentence that they gave me, you know, because I had a good lawyer. But my lawyer, you know, he he he's good, he's good. But like I said, man, the judge judge is a hard whatever. He's he's a hard way, man. And I feel like you know it just had to get something. You know, I could have. You know, I did sit in the jail for.
for a couple of months. I'm saying a couple of months. I'm doing seven years on video. I'm saying, bro, you you really done good. You really done you really done good. But he was like, yeah, man. So that's 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 why I ended up in here, man. And he was like, man, I really hate it. Cause I, I don't know nothing about this stuff, man. White boy Rick just sitting there. White boy Rick sitting there thinking. I already know he, man, let's get up out of here so we're going to spin this hundred and get high and get high. But look, pitch this roof and fit. I'm already knowing these people is watching. Everybody watching what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So if they, if they, he done came to my cell and whatever, whatever did, I'm, I'm going to take y'all back. To, did I explain that part already? But anyway, I'm, <laughs> they already know what's going on. You done brought him up here. You know what I'm saying? And then he get his package. He get it. He get his package because his package get forward from the penitentiary where he was at to here. So when he go get his package, you know, when he first come in, I can't, whatever, you know what I'm saying? When he first come in court, he ain't got nothing. So there ain't nothing to go in there and check for. You can say what you want to say. But then by the time he go get his package, he come back loaded. He come back TV, radio, headphone, grays. You don't know what them grays is. They let me know he never been to the penitentiary. You never been to the penitentiary. I've asked you never go. But let me tell you something. When you order them grays, you got, you got a little piece of chain. He come back with shoes and boots. You hear me? When you come back with both, because you can only order either shoes. You can't order two pair of shoes. You can't order two pair of boots. You got to get shoes or just shoes, boots, just boots. Or you can get shoes and boots. This man come back with both of them. He, he, listen, both of them. This man buying boxes. This this when you really know you exclusive. This when you really know you exclusive. When you buy your whites off the list. When you buy your whites from Union Supply, if you, if you know what Union Supply is, then let me know you been to the penitentiary. But if you don't know what unit supply is, then let me know. Yeah, yeah, you don't know about ordering no pack. Don't ever find out about ordering no pack. You ordering whites. You got white tees, white boxes. You getting socks. Now, a lot of people think, I'm going to save my people a little money. I'm just going to get my grades and stuff. I'm going to get my grades and shoes, get the electronics that I can get. And I'm just going to get the whites from the penitentiary. When he ordering whites and everything, bro. You don't listen, bro. You ain't been in the penitentiary two weeks. You listen, hold on. You 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 moving too fast. You need to slow down. You should have broke that up. You should have broke that up. Man, when they see that court, they going to bump down on you. Or they see what's going on and they trying to find a strategic, calculated way to try to get in your pockets, homie. So this dude, listen, you, you listen, you know what's going on with the child, though. You know what's going on with the child. Somebody probably done informed him. He probably been seeing it. But he ain't seen it get serious, right? Why this man walk his his it's it's the when you on this corner right here, the wall going this way when you first come in, the wall going that way. It's the worst wall to have when they doing shower because you could easily be coming out of your cell and they could have been hollering shout shout. They hollered it from down there, but listen, they walking fast like soldiers. They shout 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 and they walking fast, so that you heard it down there. But by the time they walking so fast to get the person to the cell, you probably gonna get ready to open up your door. When you open up, boom, they done shut you up in the door. You, you was in the way, depending, depending on who you is. Depending on who you is. So look, these folks, this man coming out of his shower, while they coming out of his cell, while they holler, shout, shout, shout. He come out of the cell, make it, listen, they close the door, he come out, dude. Why does it? You should have went on and let him shut you up in the cell. So he done fumbled out of the cell when they when they close the door. They catch him in the door. So he come on out, boom, close the door, and now he in the way of the shower. Ah, oh, they done, boom, they done shove my man in anything. <laughs> they, they done shove my man in anything. You already know what time it is. Couple of the homeboys who see him, I ain't nobody got nothing out of him yet. Boom, they go bump down on him. They telling this man, they charging him fit it out. How do I know? White boy Rick follow up right behind him when they go over there and tell him what he owe. White boy Rick come holler at me. Hey, Joe T, man, I need to get my butt. I need to get my boy on the phone, man. Get him out of this situation, man, before they start doubling up, tripling up on him, man. You know how these guys do. Man, go, man, tell, man, tell my guy, come on up here. Man, tell him, come on up here, come holler at me. He call his people. He get the 50 spot. They get in the 50 spot. He get in the 50 spot. They listen, give him an inch, they're going to take him out. He getting a 50 spot. Now they telling him he got to pay rent. He telling them, folks, 
I'm not paying. I'm not. Uh, listen, that's. I, I'm not gonna do all that. Y'all, y'all said I owed y'all fifty for disrespecting you and, and, and break security with the shower. I'm mad enough. You know what I'm saying? I was in the way. Boom. They tell him, Oh, now nah, you either gonna get connect. He, for one, you wouldn't have got it too fast. You wouldn't have got it. You you should have waited a day or two. You should have made it like it was a struggle. <laughs> you should have made it like it was a struggle to get. These folks charge you. You pull straight up. Skirt, come get. The, yeah, yeah. yeah boom, 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 and go and try to get on up out of the way. They watching who you running with. They watching you. <laughs> so look, look, check this out. Then when they tell him that, he come up here and holler. He pop, pop. He ain't got a white boy read with him. He, hey, your team man, holler at you, man. Come on in, man. Pop. Man, bless his ass. Man, what you got going on, man? Man, man, these guys, man, I try to do my best to be respectful, man. I gave him $50. And now they telling me I got to pay rent? Joe T, man, I'm not paying no rent, man. Come on, man. Rent? I'm not giving these guys no $50 a week. I said, $50 a week? <laughs> I try to charge you $200 a month to live here? Man, yeah, man. And it's this dude, man. It's this dude. Thank you, he's Crip, man. He come in. He talking about, what's up, cuz? And he was one of them dudes when I first got here. He come in the cell. And when he came in, man, he come in. He stepped in and he taps on the door right, Joe T. He taps on, he taps on the door, pop, pop. I'm like, what's up? I don't say come in. When I say what's up, he, pop. Man, bless his say boom. And he closes my door. Closes my door real strong. He walks up on me like, what that is, cuz? So, I've seen so many movies, Joe T, man. I've seen so many movies. I was like, man, I ain't affiliated, man. He was, and, and then, you know, a couple of my friends and stuff, they try to tell me, you know, just don't, you know, I try to do what I'm thinking you could do. I was like, man, I ain't affiliated. I don't want to be affiliated, man. I just try to do my time and come, I'm just trying to do my time and go home and this, this, and that. He gets up in my face and he tells me, well, this is what's going to, how it's going to go and this, this, and that. I don't know if you boom, boom. But I told him, I was like, look, man, whatever is, whatever is whatever, man, listen. I ain't, I let him know, like, I try to let him know I wasn't going, but I ain't try to get aggressive. I just try to, and he gonna tell me, man, I was just playing with you, man. I was just playing with you, trying to see if you gonna stay in your ground, man. Just trying to, man, you gonna be good in the pension. And he leaves on, he leaves on out behind him. Of course, Aaron Nation comes in, same thing. Aaron Nation comes in, tells me about, you know, they, they try to run. If I'm gonna be honest with no disrespect to you, Joe T. No disrespect to you or yourself, nothing like that. They come in and they tell me, <clears throat> oh, you're white, these black dudes gonna try to pick on you, try to extort you, blackmail you, try, make you call you people, all this old stuff, man. You know, you, you ride with us, man. We, at least you can have some kind of help. And I told them, Joe T, man, listen, I'm a man for anything. I'm just trying to do my time good. I'm staying out of the way. That's, that's it. They respected it. Went on out of my cell. So now, excuse me, now that I gave them that $50, he comes back to my cell by himself and gonna tell me, I got to pay $50 a week. I'm not doing that, Joe T. Then you're going to tell me I, I'm going to have to go to the back. Go to the back. I'm not going to no back. And if you want to hear the rest of the story, you, you're, you're going to have to go get yourself a membership. Yeah, you're going to have to go get yourself a membership. It sure is. It sure is, old buddy, old pal. And if you need the membership link, you can jump in the comment section and say, Joe T, and my white boy, Josh boys, I need that link to that membership, Joe T. And I'm, I'm going to drop that membership for you. I promise you, I'm going to drop that membership. So, 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 look. So, I'm talking to him. He talking about we first. We having a whole little conversation, right? My boy tell me he ain't going. He leave out of the cell. White boy break come up there. Man, Joe T, man. Man, I'm telling him, man. Look. It, just give him just give him another 50 and tell him that's all you got. And, man, if they come back this time, I'm telling him, man, I'm going to. I'm like, man, why were Rick just trying to keep the boy around? He's like, man, so I'm going to get him on the phone, man. I'm going to get him on the phone, man, and, 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 and see. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see if I can get him. Because, man, he don't need to go nowhere, Joe T. He, man, he, need, he, he the good people, man, and this and that. He come back to the city. When he come back to the city, he called his people. He called his people. Listen, he called his people. This is what his mama say. I didn't raise you like that, Josh. And I'm going to say this, and I'm only going to say it once. It's unfortunate that you're in that situation, man. You was driving that car and you hit that and that and that person lost their life. Hate you had to go into prison because I never want to see any of my children in prison. I'm not coming to see you because you're incarcerated. I don't want to come to that place. <laughs> Where did that conversation go? I don't want to come to that place. Come to a visitation gallery and leave my son in that place. Now, growing up, your daddy and your uncles, 
did nothing but teach you how to protect yourself. Those classes, those karate classes that I put you in growing up was for you to protect yourself. Me growing up as a Bushwick was different than you growing up as a Bushwick, Josh. We had it way rough. I worked my tail off to put myself and my children, my family in a better community so you wouldn't have to deal with the nonsense that I had to deal with, Josh. Now, I'm telling you this because I know you have heart. Now, I don't know what goes on in that place, what you're dealing with. But I didn't put you in karate to teach you and your uncle didn't teach you how to stand up for yourself. And your dad didn't teach you to stand up for yourself. I remember you was eight years old. You was eight, nine, maybe ten. You come home off that bus and when you came home off that bus, I remember your backpack hanging off your shoulder. And you told your dad, that that little boy down the street, Nicholas, I remember his name. You told him that Nicholas is always picking on you on that bus. Your dad marched you out of that house. Marched you out of that house. Walked you down there to Nicholas' house. Knocked on his door. And he told Nicholas' dad, either you're going to let your son come out here and fight my son one-on-one, -on -one, or I'm going to fight you. And he brought Nicholas out there and told Nicholas to go in that yard. And your dad looked you in your eyes and told you, you better kick the snot out of him. And you fought like your life was on the line. And you, you whoop, little Nicholas. After that's when we put you in karate, you was a white belt. After karate, you know what was next, don't you? Yes, ma'am. You are an MMA fighter. I look at white boy Rick, white boy look at me, white boy Rick look at me, me and white boy look at me, and white boy Rick look at me too. I say MMA. I know you got trophy, trophy, medal after medal. You. I know, mom. I just didn't want to put myself in a position, put my hands on nobody, man, and and I don't care, Josh. You are in. Prison. Do you understand me? You're in prison, Josh. And if them guys and them gang members, whatever's going on, if it's anything like TV, and they think because you're some punk white boy, you better kick the snot out of them. Is this you and brother been my safe? He a what? He a MMA fighter. And he got that walk. Now that she done said that, he got the walk in the structure, right? And I'm listening to his mama say, is his mama mixed? She she talking like a black woman, like the way she can. Now, Josh, you're not gonna be calling me. You're not listen. We're gonna stop this right now. You haven't been at that prison a you haven't been that prison a month. You've already called me a few times. Now I'd rather you get it from me than do something crazy in there that you won't have to be doing. So I try to look out for you. But I'm gonna tell you right now. Ain't nobody going to be in there extorting my baby without putting up, you're going to put up some kind of fight. You're not going to let them think or believe you could just call home and get money from us whenever you want to get money to stop them from doing whatever it is they threaten that they are going to do to you. Do you understand me, Josh? Yes, man. Then you better go handle your business. And when you get through, wherever, I don't know whose phone this is, if you go to the hole, if they got any common decency about themselves, let them know they can call me and let me know what happened. And I appreciate it. But you better call me and let me know everything is either going to be all right or it is all right. Do you understand me, Josh? Yes, ma'am. Now, you do what you got to do. We're going to stick behind you. Now, if you have to, hey, we know what they taught you in the MMA. MMA. You know what they taught you. Now, you better, because we didn't pay the money for the class for you not to defend yourself. Now, you better defend yourself. Do you understand me? Right, Rory. She's giving him permission to unlive somebody. Do you understand what she's saying? I don't know, bitch. Okay. Who is this you and Ronald Bear, my son? All right, man. He get off the phone. I said, hey, I said, what? Uh, you good? Yeah, man. 
I said, you, you, you MMA fighter? Yeah, man, for about, about four years straight, man. He, he get informed, right? He get informed. He get, I said, what, what you say, man? What you got going on? He said, man, for about three, four years, man, uh, yeah. I went a couple places, man. We used to travel a lot, man. And he get the name of people he done fought. Can't remember their name. He got the name of people he done fought and stuff. He was like, it is what it is, man. So I'm going to have to stay on my ground, man. My mom said I had to stay on my ground. She ain't finna give me that money. So when I tell him I can't get the money, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he want to do, it is what it is, I guess. And now, like, my, you heard my mom. So if I end up on hold or anything, man, I appreciate man. Give her a call. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you, you should. Man, hey. I ain't been scared of these guys since I got here, Joe T, man. One thing I do know how to do is, is defend myself. You know, I do know how to defend myself, man. Uh, just in an in in unfortunate situation, first time in trouble, man. Being a Bushwick, man, they decided to send me the correction. So, you know, I guess I'm just going to have to. I said, yeah. Man, my, my dude said, you better knock the snot out of him. And I ain't even going to lie to you, homie. That's exactly what I'm going to do if he come in that cell. And, he, and I tell him I ain't got it. He won't, he won't anything else. I ain't going to let him bust him up, man. I'm going to bust him up in there. Well, go do what you got to do, white boy, Josh. White boy reset. So we, so you good? So you good? Said, yeah, man, I'm good, man. I appreciate y'all, man. He walk out of the cell. He, listen, man walk out of the cell. It was 15, 20 minutes later. <laughs> listen, I'm sitting on the rock. I'm cool. I'm chilling. I'm mad at my own business. Dude come from across the wall. I'm knowing where he going. He going right, he going right to white boy, Josh said, the MMA fighter. Man, that man going there. All you hear, the, listen, <laughs> Cub come up out of that thing talking. Man, you got me, man. Hey, Cub. Hey, Cub. Cub. He come out there talking about calling Cub. Calling Cub and them over. White boy, Rick, white boy Josh come out and say, man, he, he, his, you can see he red, right? He got his shirt on. Man, I ain't trying to fight nobody in here, man. Well, listen, man. I ain't, he, he, he bouncing around right now. He bouncing. I ain't trying to, but like, listen, man, I'm a train fighter. I'm a trained fighter, man. And I told you, man, I ain't had no $50 to be giving you, man. But, man, you come back in here, man. I'm going to tap you up, man. I'm going to tap you up. And then <laughs> he put them, I'm going to tap you up. And the cub, cub, what's up, cub? Cub, what's up, cub? Man, they, he, white boy Josh stepped back in the cell. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. When he step in the cell, though, the door, the door is open. So it's inviting for them to run in there. Come on. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Man, this cub never step in the cell. Come on. Whoop two of them. The homeboy, he don't whoop. He don't even go back in there. Whoop two of them. He, they popped up. Man, this man, man, he gotta go. He gotta go, cuz. He gotta go. White boy Josh come back out. Man, I ain't going nowhere, man. Man, I ain't going nowhere, man. I paid that $50, man. Man, I ain't going nowhere. By this time, of course, Air Nation. And then, and then it turned, it go from Air Nation, other crypts. The guys, Visor, he done stood his ground. The other dog done stood his ground. <laughs> he done took his leap and then said, hey, 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 y'all need to chill on that, homie. Chill on that, man. Home, man, y'all ready to say it Man, just chill on that, man. Y'all try and get the park. The officer watching in this situation like this. The officer sitting back with, yeah, y'all got, you got what you were looking for. Man, hey, man, I already paid him. I already paid him, man. Man, I'm not going to the back. I'm just letting him know. Man, I already, he like his hip. <laughs> My man like his hip. I ain't going man, here's what it is. It, and it was over with, just like that. So one thing for sure, two things for certain. I feel like in any situation, when you stand in your ground, being who you are, people going to respect that. Now, not saying that it's going to be easy to get the respect, but whatever you got to go through to get the respect and stand in your ground, it always end up paying off in the long run. Y'all already know what it is, man. And look, I've been busy and I ain't been feeling good. I don't know if I sound stuffy or not. I ain't been feeling good, so that's that's been reason. And if you didn't see the short video I posted, the the uh it is getting built. My my prison said it is getting built. I'm hoping by Friday it's functioning for me to start recording. So I've been working. So the people in the membership don't think I've been avoiding y'all. I just been trying to get to the sweet spot of where I can really take care of my business and do what I need to do because I'm trying to grow. Not saying that I'm tired of telling stories because I know I got plenty of them to tell. Did 10 years. I'm just trying to uh, uh, elevate the platform. So I'm just busy. It's, it's all it is. It's been busy. But y'all already know. I know y'all rocking with you guys. It's your boy, Joe T.